here are 10 winter car hacks, tips and tricks that you should know, so stay tuned. Friends, winter time is here. I want to show you guys 10 hacks and tips and tricks that you should do to prepare your car and yourself to be safe this winter. So make sure you watch till the very end of this video because I'll be adding three more bonus tips. With that being said, let's get to the video. It snowed a little bit last night, but it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment. And let's see how the doors are and see that the handle is stuck, the moisture, and it's stuck together on the inside of the door. So here's a useful and very helpful tip that I want to show you friends and that's by using WD-40 silicone quick drying spray. Now this spray is waterproof and it protects rust and pretty much it applies on multiple surfaces and I want you to use this when you're spraying onto your weather stripping on your door. That's very easy to do. So just spray a few on your rag, apply it onto your weather stripping you don't have to oversaturate and whatnot and you're just gonna apply it just like that all the way around your weather stripping very important that you don't get this onto your interior panels because it'll ruin it just make sure you get it only on the rubber area and that's pretty much it easy like that you're never gonna have your door stuck or freeze up onto your inside panels of your door again and you can even take this stuff and spray it where the keyhole goes like so There you go. Make sure you put a rag underneath so it doesn't get all over your paint. And that's it. Just let it sit. And now you can, if you need to insert your key or whatnot, it's never going to get stuck in there because it's going to repel all that water. Now another great use for the silicone spray by WD-40 is you can use this for your windshield wipers. Make sure that you clean off your windshield wiper blade with a clean towel and just wipe it with some soap and water. Apply some of this. What's going to happen is you're just going to apply it on the rubber portion of your windshield wiper. And by doing that, it's going to prevent that thing from sticking onto your, your windshield. Have you ever notice when it's really cold out, it starts making that like rubbing loud noise. This will prevent that. It will keep the rubber nice and soft and you won't have that sound. So try it out for yourself. If you're interested on this WD-40 Specialist Silicone Quick Drying Spray, I'll leave the link on the description down below and try it out. So friends, if you're finding these tips to be super helpful so far, please hit that like button so that we can share this video and spread this video out to help more people out during this winter time. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So you never know what's gonna happen when you're on the road. So here's some of the basics that you wanna carry with you on the back of your trunk, just in case you end up pulling on the side of the road and you're stranded somewhere. The first thing that you wanna have is at least some snow chains just in case that you get stuck on really thick ice or snow. The other one, but this first aid kit comes with just the basics, pretty much your regular band-aids, gauzes, and all the other stuff, ointments. You'll always have ratchet straps with you, just in case you need this to pull yourself out of a ditch or have someone tow with you. Again, depending on what pounds it can hold on to, the thicker, the better. This one's only 1,100 pounds but I suggest you get a thicker one depending on what size your vehicle is. Always have with you a case of water. If you can, store some you know, unperishable snacks with you like nuts, chips, and all that stuff. You just never know how long you're gonna be stranded for. And this is very important as well. I like to carry this. This one is my portable jump starter. Comes with a compass, turn it on. Make sure it's fully charged. This one's at 100%. It already has a built-in light to it. It has a USB port to charge your phone. And it has the jump starter port right here so that you can jump your battery just in case it dies. This is an awesome tool to have. If you want this product or a similar version of this, I'll leave the link on the description down below along with these other products right here. And also you want to carry with you a strong, reliable flashlight. This one is by Maglite. This is a 1000 lumen LED flashlight. And I'll show you how strong this flashlight is. So I'd like to thank Maglite for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their website on the description down below. So this is the Maglite ML300L model. So once it's set on high mode, Maglite claims that this will last for about five hours and 45 minutes. 
on low mode 97 hours and for eco mode it will last 434 hours so this does take four d cell batteries now let's go out there and test it out and i'll show you how powerful this thing is one click it is super bright and there we go you can even light up a deer change it to focused like so or to wide so i'd like to thank maglife for sponsoring today's video make sure you check out their website on the description down below so with that being said let's get back to the video so your tires are one of the most important things that you need to check especially before a winter snowstorm comes you always want to make sure that you have nice operating tires make sure it's fully inflated make sure you check your specs that it has enough air a good thing to do to make sure that you have enough tread on your tire is just get a penny like so so here's lincoln's head right here all you gotta do is flip it upside down so what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert his head all the way down to the tread and notice how it goes all the way deep that means that if his head part of his head disappears you have at least over 230 seconds of an inch left on the tread but if his head is sticking out all the way up that means your tires are are bald and they pretty much need you need new tires another tip if you ever get stuck on a ditch or a ditch full of snow or just anywhere even on mud a great tip to know is if you have floor mats with you like this one sorry my floor mats are fairly dirty just get your floor mats and pretty much slide it and place it underneath where your tire is or where you're stuck and the floor mats will help gain traction on top of the mat to get you out of a ditch now this is also a good technique also to carry with you a piece of a piece of plywood or piece of wood so that you can wedge it between your tires so that just in case you get stuck this will act as traction another tip what i did last night was i covered mirrors with just regular plastic bag regular plastic bag that i got from fred meyer you can get them at albertson's or safeway so that frost will not develop inside there and another thing that i did was i covered the whole front windshield with a plastic garbage bag i just cut it in half and i just covered from top to bottom but if you don't have a plastic bag like that and if it's not too wet what you can do is you can use a blanket a scrap blanket and just put it over and that should be fine another tip is make sure that you lift your windshield wipers like so so they don't stick to your windshield see how well it worked and look at that easy you have no snow build up on your windshield you see there's no frost on build up on there so another tip is if you don't do the plastic bag method or if you don't cover the windshield what you can do just turn on the car put it on about warm as like that then set it onto your windshield turn it on press the rear so that will defrost and you pretty much just let it sit for about five to ten minutes and this should start clearing out so let's come back later i would still clear out some snow so it doesn't put any stress on your windshield wipers so another tip friends is always carry an ice scraper like this this is a handheld mini one they come in different sizes as well but if you need one of these i'll leave a link on the description down below yeah it's pretty easy all you gotta do is go like this and it scrapes up now if you don't have one of these go inside your wallet take out a credit card or any hard plastic card and that will work as well so here's one from dave and busters that's a scraper as well another tip is don't leave your car parked on the top of your driveway if you have a slope like that or if you have a long driveway make sure you park at the side of the road because i have a very steep driveway and my truck is a rear wheel drive so i don't think i'm gonna get out of there once it starts piling up another tip is 
so make sure friends you have a full tank of gas like so because if you have a full tank that means it adds extra weight to your car which will gain better traction so it looks like i need to go to a gas station and fill this car up and last but not least you want to carry with you all the time it's a snow shovel and this is a great thing to have because there's so many uses for this just in case you need to clear a pathway to get you out of an area full of snow so friends i hope you found these 10 tips to be useful when preparing your car for winter or for any kind of winter storms if you have any other tips or suggestions leave it in the comment section down below and share it with the community as well and if you found this video super helpful please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and please stay safe out there during this winter weather